I'm Savage Coco and welcome to Naughty Bobbin Patterns. Today I'm going to help you make a medallion print pressed out popover top. With its unique double front neckline and center front seam, if you use a medallion print, much like the one that I have on, your center front seam will disappear into the medallion. So let's get started. What you see behind me is a blank space on my medallion print fabric, a fully traced out front, a fully traced out back, and actually two sleeves that are just visible at the edge of the screen here. The reason for that is, is that helps with matching and your match point. Speaking of match points, I've given myself a match point at my upper bust and my mid hip, both on my double front here, both sides, and both sides of my back piece here. This helps again with your matching. You'll also see on, your, on the pattern piece a bright red line here down the middle of the back and a bright red line here down the middle of the front. What you also can't see here on my medallion print on my blank space here is that I have traced out my front using a chalk tracer in this instance. And because this is a um, medallion print that is printed lengthwise instead of crosswise, I have to lay out my pattern uh, crosswise across the grain here because it, um, otherwise I won't get the lovely border print. This fabric is from Brightex. It was about $25 a yard. It's Italian and it's gorgeous. It feels terrific. It's been prepped, cold water wash in the machine, threw it in the dryer, and pulled it out, no ironing. Presto, get dressed, get, get to work. Okay, so um, you'll also notice that it has a bright magenta pink a, um, border here, and this lovely almost Greek key looking border here. This border repeats here as well. I'm not a big fan of pink, so I'm not going to use the pink, but I am going to use this border piece here on my sleeve, which will make my three quarter sleeve just a little bit longer than its usual mid forearm length. I like this length. It stays out of the way during the day as I crash around um, my business like a mad badger. So uh, let's get started. Um, on my blank space over here, it's traced out. I'm ready to cut both this side and this side and the back. And I'm going to cut my sleeve separately after I cut my two fronts and the back. Also, uh, because of the stretch on this fabric, it has grain-wise, excuse me, crosswise stretch, but not a whole lot of lengthwise stretch. And because I'm laying this out, as you can see, across the length, instead of its usual knit layout, which would be lengthwise, this is being cut crosswise. I'm going to lose a little stretch. It's so it doesn't stretch as much as the 5% as we would like for a Presto. So I'm going to give myself a little extra room here on the side seams, about 3 eighths of an inch. I'm not going to give myself extra length. I'm not going to give myself extra length at the top or the bottom. I'm just going to give myself about 3 eighths inch on the side seams here. It'll give me just enough room to, for a perfect fit and not have to go up up a size. If I went up a size, I would have too much shoulder and too much upper bust, and it would just simply look too big on me. The thing about the Presto is that it's a body conscious fit. It, it has just about 0% ease on it, so that it shows your shape, moves with you throughout the day, but it doesn't look too small and it's not too tight. And with a medallion print especially, you can eat pasta, and all that print is going to hide all those lumps and bumps. And if you're a woman of a certain age, uh, throughout the day you might get a little warm. So the Presto is great because you can open your collar a little bit. If you're chilly, you can bring it in a little bit. You can't see down the front, so if you're support staff and you're sitting at your desk and the boss is handing you something from standing in front of you, they won't see down your top. This is very important. Okay, let's get started. 